Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and in this video we'll see a new concept in C Sharp. So basically today we'll see about the namespace, like what is namespace and why it is used, right? So if you see, like you can find the namespace at many classes, right? Like here you can see almost every classes has the namespace. So namespace is just like a package in Java. Right, Name is, namespace we used for organize the different different classes, different interfaces. Right, so let's say like right now, even itself like the C sharp also uses the namespace even in their library classes that we can see. Like you see here, the system is a namespace. You can see that when I hover on this one, then it's it is uh, saying is namespace system. Right, it means. Uh, here is the namespace of the system and under which we have many classes, many interfaces and all that, right? So let's say, uh, similarly, if I use uh, here system dot uh, buffers, so you see like this is namespace system dot buffer. Similarly, let's say if I go here, this is namespace system dot code name. If I go here, this is namespace system dot collection. So it means at the starting we had the namespace of system and under that we have a namespace of collection. So it means this is also can be nested as well, right? Like we have in the packages in the Java, we have main package Then under that we have another package Then under that we have different packages, right? So similarly here also we can do it's kind of, you know, we can say it's a, a kind of folder system in a layman language if you say. So basically these are defined so that let's say if someone says okay give me uh, like tell me the all the classes in the system dot collection. So basically if you have uh, if you have imported them by using it means all the classes under system dot collection you would have right. So it means that's why it uses for that. So let's say uh, like I have now system dot collection here right so if i have system root collection it means i can access all the classes of system root collection here similarly like let's say if i have system using system it means i can access all the classes whichever are there in the system right so this is a library like even the dot net is also using the namespace right so the same way we can also create our custom namespace as well so that's why you can see like here we have the and the system like console console uh, console we are able to use because console is also a class which is under the system so you can see here like we have a system dot console if i remove the system then you would not be able to use this right so uh, that's how the importance of the namespace is and to import the namespace we can just use a using system and that's how we can we are able to access the console class right now how to create the custom namespace so like you can see that here uh, because i am in program class so i have created one c sharp learn namespace right by default it creates uh, based on your project name so it has created based on c sharp learn now let's say under that you can see like we have uh, i have services utils so that's also we can do let's say if i'm going in services then i can create the another namespace like namespace c sharp dot service so i have created the another namespace as c sharp dot uh, sorry c sharp learn dot services so it means if i need to access any class for that i need to import i need to uh, import the using i need to add the using c sharp learn dot service then only it would be able to access uh, these classes similarly let's say if i am on util so here i have given c sharp dot utils right like it is here system dot collection system dot link system dot text similarly i have also defined uh, i have also defined c sharp dot utils right so that's how basically we can uh, we can basically create the namespace and that's how we can use this now let's say how we can import this so like right now you can see like time period is not able to access because uh, it is it doesn't know that where is the class is so how we have to do uh, i have to import this using then name then she sharp so what was uh, this one she sharp learn dot services because our time period class is in here right so if you go here now you can see now i'm able to access the time period so if i go here i set the value and then i can uh, get the values just as well right so this is uh, this is what the namespace is first we talked about the library namespace how dot net use then you also saw that how we can create the custom in namespaces and how we can have the nested namespaces like currently at the starting i was using the c sharp learn 
then I use a C sharp run dot services. So generally the guidance is and we should use how we should use that if you are under a particular folder like services. So I'm using so I, I should use the same namespace, right? So I hope uh, you have got the concept of the namespace. Still, if you have any doubts, please write in the comment section. We'll try to explain that. And uh, that's all about the video. Please subscribe to channel for more such videos. Thank you.